What's up, everyone, and welcome to another reaction, a bass singer reaction. There were a lot of comments in my reaction to Jeff Castellucci's Misty Mountains that I should react to Tim Faust and Home Free. So uh, I picked one that I've only seen once. There's Sea Shanty Medley, pretty recent, super popular. I remember absolutely loving it. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a reaction to that one. I don't see any reason to waste time. Let's jump in. Here we go. There once was a ship that put to sea in the name of the sh What is this tattoo? We got a we got an arrow arrow going through a little swirl. What is that? Adam, what's your tattoo, bro? Let's go back. Sorry. I will get to the singing, I promise. Here we go. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below, my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. Dang, dude. Tim has got some thick... What is that? C? It's C's, right? Tim Faust has got some serious low season chest. I remember the first time I heard this, I was like, I've heard a lot of versions of this song at this point, and Tim's low C's were my favorite. No question. Out of all the versions. Let's go back to this first solo, though. It is silky smooth. You guys hearing that? It is... Like I talked about Jeff, just effortless and easy. Hold on. Despite being a kind of robust piece, right? The sea shanty is very kind of swashbuckling, right? So this uh, this one, the weatherman's about wailing. Um, but he sings it smooth. He sings it smooth. Let's listen back. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below my bully boy. Below my bully boys blow. That line is like real, like Bieber-y almost. I don't know if it really fits this medley, but it sounds good. Was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon so you've got this like Bieber-esque. Below my bully boys blow. And then you've got this, and then you've got this manly, you know, the yell, the grunt. They, they don't really match, but it doesn't really bother me. I mean, these sea shanties have been so popularized anyway. They're like very poppy now. They are not how they started hundreds of years ago, you know, <laughs> whenever and wherever. So I got, I got no beef with it. That's how acapella is nowadays. It's very produced and I see no reason Sea shanties wouldn't, you know, in 2021 fit into that mold. One more time. Once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below, my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her right well bore The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow <gasps> Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I like how Tim actually drops down to the low sea one step before usually. Tea and rum. He goes, tea and rum. You know what I mean? He drops, he gives us one extra low C compared to what I've heard in other versions. So that's always good. I also like how they're, you already got this going, you know, that's obvious. You gotta have that. But then they're adding more perk as it goes through. There was a clap and then there was like a tss, tss. So even within this context of a super repetitive piece, which this obviously is, we're still getting some motion, we're getting some change, we're getting some evolution of the style. I love that. We'll see what's up next. Alright, so not not just thick low C's for our man Tim. We're getting some B flats now. That is 
It's just beautiful. It's just wonderful. All right, Tim, what do you got? Let's hear it one more time. I'll take our leave and go. What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? Ooh, are we Ooh, we got an F, F2. Okay, cool. We're in F now. F. Do, do, do. F minor. Very nice. Sorry, we also had a nice tempo change. You guys feel that tempo change? Pick up. What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Early in the morning. Also love Tim's outfit. I talked about Jeff Jeff's outfits in his video. Well deserved. Humphrey, they're pretty much rocking casual stuff, but we got Tim going full Jack Sparrow. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. That is Jack Sparrow's outfit. I mean, I the original Pirates is one of my favorite movies of all time, and that is that is leaning hard towards our man Jack Sparrow. Shouts to Jack Sparrow. All right, let's keep going. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Early in the morning. Way she rises way hey, up she rises way hey, up she rises early in the morning oh the wind was foul and the sea ran high leave her johnny leave her she shipped it green and none went by and it's time for us to leave her hey. <laughs> all right dude i like that a lot i like that a lot how I, how I did my cover, this piece is super solemn and very slow. And I've heard it kind of done faster, which I don't like as much. But this one, what I like about this is it's a, a very clear artistic choice. It's like, we are going to pump this thing up and we're going we're gonna to make it move. Okay, we're not doing the solemn thing. We're doing the fast thing. It's not in this weird middle ground. It's like, no, we're, uh, we're going to move it along. We're going to move this piece along, this is what we're going to do. So, you know, I respect that. Let's go back. I'd like to hear that transition again. Morning. Oh, the wind was foul and the sea ran high. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. She shipped it green and none went by. And it's time for us to leave her. This is like they just stumbled upon the purest coffee ever in their in their trading export business you know they're talking about leaving the ship behind and they're like well by god we just got a load of coffee you know and they've got this crazy energy about them that's what i hear i hear a super pepped up version of the song which you know i'm down for that i'm totally down for that she shipped it green and none went by and it's time for us to leave her leave her johnny leave her i'll leave her johnny leave her for the voyage is long and the winds don't what's our what's our man in the middle doing i actually don't know his name i should i should know all their names i don't know all their names who's this guy because he is doing some funky business there in the middle frame. Bye, and it's time. Also, he's dressed up, so respect. And for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. I'll leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow. And it's time for us to leave her. Cape Cod ship. down a half step from actually I don't know I didn't I didn't consider what leave for Johnny was but now we're down to E da 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 major E major all the way all the way ain't all blown off in the northeast gales and we're bound away for Australia so heave her up my bully bully boys 
Pedro B B one again. This is great. T Tim is he's teetering on Pit Viper. We're not bringing it out. Pit Viper is is exclusively when the base really gets slammed. Jeff's really his first G one in Misty Mountains in the solo line. That is like like optimum Pit Viper. So Tim he's he's dancing with it. I'm not giving it to him. He's dancing with it. Uh, it sounds like they're just building up steam. Like they're they're going from like pirate ship to like steam engine, you know. We're we're going through the centuries here in terms of their energy. Uh, I dig it. Let's keep going. So a piece about this: the first version I heard of this was an all male classical singing group called Chanticleer. One of the only, you know, full salaried professional choirs in the world. Absolutely sensational. Like the most beautiful music that can be produced with human voice, seriously. Um, and they have a version of this on their world, uh, one of their world albums. Uh, I would check it out. Check out Chanticleer's version of South Australia. It is so radically different from this. I like both versions a lot. But it's interesting to see and hear the contrast between something birthed of the classical genre, like Chanticleer, and something birthed of you know the pop a cappella genre, which is which is where Humphrey is comfortably sitting in this medley. This is not a med This is not a shanty I'm super familiar with. I think I've only heard one other cover of it, so I don't have much reference, just being transparent. Now pull the yawn up the west, they say, along the plains of Mexico. Well, heave her up and away we'll go away. It's just building. I mean, it's getting, I feel like my heart rate's rising. I feel like I'm like gonna go into a panic attack or something. It's just like, are we like an EDM festival? What's going on here? It's just getting more and more hyped. As we go through, I wonder, I don't remember how they finish it. Maybe they'll bring it back. You know, send us off with like a lullaby or something. We'll see. Hey, Santiana, heave her up and away we'll go along the plains of Mexico. She's a fast clipper ship and a bully guckaroo. Away, Santiana. Okay, he's, he's wearing a whale shirt. And he's got a... I guess, where did, the, where did the beanie originate? Is that like a... Is that like a... Like a whaling origin? Skull cap kind of thing? I don't know. Definitely not my field of expertise. Someone can fact check. Someone will put it in the comments. Where do beanies come from? Anyway, nice whale shirt. Captain to along the plains of Mexico Well, fever up this one this one might be the most fitting for this kind of chest pounding warrior vibe they're bringing right now oh this is pirate this is pirate attire as well with the pirate ships in the background very tasteful don't know his name but respect what's that necklace i can't tell what the necklace is um this one feels like it should be driving, you know, more so than like Leave Her Johnny. That one to me feels solemn. I was okay with their choice. This one feels like it should drive, just like they're doing it. Around Cape Horn through the ice and Boy, he holding that sword like a baseball bat. That is not how you hold a one-handed sword. Just saying. I've seen enough Game of Thrones to know how you're supposed to hold a sword. Oh, along the plains of Mexico, well, fever up and away.
sharp one from Je- from uh, from Tim there. Beautiful. I liked what they did at the end. They did not slow up. That was that was straight pumping the whole way through. But they they brought back in all the titles of the sea shanties they chose, which I think that's very clever. Let's listen to that again. And then beautiful F sharp one from from Tim, but but Pit Viper status has got to be fully exposed. I think for 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 true Pit Viper, unless we're talking like, you know, if Glenn Miller shreds a G1 in a choir setting, that's Pit Viper status. But it's still very clear. It's heard, it stands out. Tim's F1, F sharp 1, beautiful, but I'm not giving him Pit Viper. I'm reserving that for the heaviest hitting moments in a cappella music and other music. All right? I'm not playing around with pit fiber status. All right, this last bit one more time and then we'll wrap it up. Away we'll go away, Santiana. Leave her up and away we'll go along the plains of Mexico. So leave her Johnny up. We'll go the drunken sailor, wellerman, whaler, bound away for Mexico. Ooh, that's another good one. Ah, da, 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 na, 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 na. Just one. Just one for now. No double features. Um, that was exceptional. I I love Home Freeze sound a lot. You know, it's it's a sound I've gotten accustomed to over the years. It's a very produced sound. Um to be quite frank, many of their arrangements to me are pretty static. I listen to all of their albums on a drive up to Philadelphia one time straight through and there's a lot of like to, like cookie cutter kind of arrangements where it's just kind of a transcription um, not a not a huge fan of that but this arrangement was very creative I liked a lot of what they did here um, and how they they made you know they made strong artistic choices about each of these shanties uh, and they made them all morph and fit into this driving medley. It was very exciting. I mean, if nothing else, it was very exciting. A lot of great singing, a lot of beautiful lows from Tim. Um, and that is my take on the Home Free Sea Shanty Medley. This has been another Basinger Reaction, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.